Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React. Today we are going to learn about the React form stepper in React. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So this kind of thing is required when we have a order page, right? So first step, that is the billing address. Second one is the shipping address. Then we have the payment address, right? And then we have a summary. So in such in that scenario, we can use this React form stepper, right? So one step is done, go to the next, the next, the next. So how we are going to achieve this into our projects, okay? So let's get started. So we have to install this package that is npm i react form stepper, okay? So I have already made this, so you can see that if I go to the back, here is a second component and here is a first component, right? So here, here you can see that when I on the first component, it is red. When I click on the second one, the second one is red. That, that means first step is done. Go to the next one, then the third step, the confirmation screen. Okay, so here you can do the rest of the stuff like last component. You can add the component and on the button click, you, you need to like fill all the states and uh, in the back also, you need to handle all the props, right? So if you want that video also, I can share that video also, right? So first of all, we are going to learn about the React Form Stepper, how it is built. Okay, so you need to install this package. After installation of the package, what we have to do, we have to use the import stepper from the React Form Stepper. And here we have to mention the steps. Stepper, which step you want to make it active. Okay, so when I click on that one, I will use the active step. Okay, so let's see about the code level. So here we go with the code. So here we have the app.js file where we have a sample. So here we have a sample file. So here you can see that I'm using React Form Stepper and the React Step Wizard. React Step Wizard you will get to know about in the later video, but I will let you know some of the brief I will give you in that video and the rest in the next video. Okay. So React Form Stepper so that is we are discussing. Okay. So go to the next where we have returning. So this is the stepper. Okay, so whatever we it is defined here, you can see that stepper which steps to be active and the label, right? Here, the same thing stepper which active step this is dynamic. I'm using with the help of the state. So, here we have the step one, then we have personal details, then we have a confirmation. Okay, here you can see that step one, personal detail, and the confirmation. Okay. After that, we are using the step wizard. Step wizard basically the next and the previous button. On the behalf of it, we are setting the active state. Okay. So here we have a step wizard and instance is assign step wizard. Okay. To set step wizard instance. And the next one is the handle step change. On step change. Whenever we have a step change, we will minus one with the step one. Okay. So here you can see that step change. So let's check this one so here we have the steppers we for adding this one this will happen step one step personal detail and the confirmation got it the next one we have a step wizard after adding the step wizard you can see that the pe this last component back next this button is coming from the step wizard okay so the let's check the step wizard so whenever we have a clicking on the handle step change so like you can see that when i go with the console so here you can see that when I press back, here you can see that step three user object step change, right? You can see that we have a step change, right? So when I click on the next step change, right? So here where the steps coming from, so when there is a step change, you can see that handle step change, right? So whenever we, whenever I can change the steps, it will come back over here and we will set the active state active step to be e dot active step minus one so it will go to the next one right so whenever we have a step change so it will go accordingly so here we have the minus one right and we will set the state accordingly and here we can see that we have the components the small components that is three that is the step component two where we have action buttons and the on the next step we are validating okay whenever we have a next step you can see that two and here we have the one step right and the last one here we have the action buttons that we are overing whenever handle back props dot previous step props dot next step whenever we have to go with the next step and when we go with the last step then we are going to the props dot last step 
okay so here we have the rows that we are returning back next and the finish so here you can see that when we have the back next and the finish so props dot current step is greater than one then we what we are going to uh, show him the back button if the prop dot current step and total steps okay so it's less than then we are showing the next button if all the steps are completed then we are showing the finish button okay so this is the concept that we are using right okay and here we are setting the this is not required in that one because we are not going to set any kind of error or something so you need to just remove or if you don't want this one so you can just remove and uh, go further for it right because this is not required because here we are just moving to the one step to second step and that one okay so this is also not required okay so this is just we required the, the div that is a step one and then the action buttons on the behalf of it we are just moving to the next one and the back one okay so this is possible with the with the components too that is one of the component is a uh, react step wizard and the another one is react form wizard because react form wizard will give you this one step one step two and this one on the behalf of it whether you want to make it highlighted you will go you have to follow the the next one that is called the react step wizard it will give you the previous action buttons that is next previous on the behalf of it what you can do you can set the active state okay so here you can see that so where we have doing the active state so here we have the handle step change so here we are changing the active state and this active state we are passing to the props of active state active step right here we have setting then whatever the step is active it will show it over whether it's to be one two three we are setting accordingly so whenever we click then we will set the steps and pass into the props okay so here you can see that the next back okay sometimes if you require such kind of thing you can use this one with the two things that we are using that the packages react form stepper and the react step wizard okay so this is the tutorial on that one any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day